What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Surly Brewing Company, and they are out of both Minneapolis and Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, and this is their Nitro Coffee Ale. So this is a coffee ale in a nitro can. It comes in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. And this can is approximately seven months old. So when I picked this one up, which was about a month, maybe a month and a half ago, when I looked at the date on the bottom, I thought it said 7 to 24, which would be July 2nd of 2024. So I was like, oh, it's pretty fresh. When I went to uh, grab this one for reviewing purposes, I noticed that the first number was actually a two and not a seven. So this was canned back on um, February 2nd of 2024, putting this one right around seven months old. Now, take that into consideration as I review this one because it is a, a coffee ale that's in a nitro can. We're talking seven months. Coffee has most likely faded to some degree, we'll see. But uh, it's not fresh anymore, but you know what? I bought it, I'm gonna review it and we'll see, but just keep that in mind, I wanted to mention that. So this is a collaboration between Surly and Peace Coffee, which is a local coffee roaster. Like I said, 5.5%. They called it Nitro Ale, but the pictures I saw about the, you know, on, on Tapped, definitely looks more like a porter stout. So we'll see, I'm gonna crack this one open, hopefully it doesn't explode and get it in the glass. So unlike a Guinness or anything like that, usually it doesn't have the hiss and you know the craziness, but I'm gonna pour this one hard because it is nitro, but sometimes with these nitro beers, you pour it hard, you kind of mess up. We'll see. Well, that's beautiful. Let you look at the cascading effect that's taking place quicker cascading effect than you would get from, you know, like a Guinness or something. A little bit slower, but yeah, I mean, that looks absolutely 100% like a nitro beer. Uh, it looks like a nitro porter stout. It has a, a deep, you know, dark, like brown into, you're gonna see pitch black on camera in person. It's more of a dark brown, cola vibes, darker brown, like mahogany at the bottom of the glass. Uh, exactly a finger of this really nice khaki colored head, infinitely creamy. That is a nitro head if I've ever seen one. Looks absolutely fantastic. And again, they, they don't talk much about like what the style is supposed to be other than a coffee L. So if, if I someone handed me this and I was, let's say I was reviewing this blind, that would look like a coffee porter. But it looks fucking fantastic. So let's get a nose. The coffee's still there. Wow, that coffee's really nice. This smells like, you know what this smells like? Like a light to medium roasted cold brew coffee with no alcohol. It just smells like I've had nitro cold brews, uh, cold brews both at a can and, and like, you know, from a can and from a, you know, like a coffee roaster before many times. I like cold brew coffee more so than regular coffee. And that's kind of what it smells like. It has a little bit of like mocha vibes. Uh, so it has the chocolate in combination with the coffee, but it also has a little bit of vanilla too. Some nondescript dark fruits, like maybe like a lighter cherry. Touch of roasted malt. Or, or a darker malt, we'd say. I wouldn't say it's necessarily roasted because I think the roast is probably more coming from the coffee than anything. Maybe a touch of like a caramel or like a toffee. Yeah, I'd say roasty, toasty. It has mocha vibes, coffee and chocolate, touch of vanilla, a little bit of dark fruit. Really nice. So despite being seven months old, it smells pretty damn fresh. Like, I don't know how intense the coffee was fresh, but it's it's pretty intense in the nose for what this beer is, which is 5.5% coffee. Yeah, like it smells exactly how it should. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. It's exactly what it says it is. It's a coffee. I would call this a coffee pour, with, without question. First things first, the body is thin. It's 5.5%, so keep that in mind. But it has like this higher side of light kind of slightly watery sensation. And a lot of nitro beers have that. Guinness, for example, a lot of people think Guinness is this thick, hearty, rich beer. It's, at least I don't think it is. It's uh, it's thin. It's like higher side of light body, maybe into low medium. What makes, at least myself, think that that beer is a bit more hefty and hearty is the fact that the nitro produces a mouthfeel that's smooth and creamy and just luscious, that you kind of forget that it is a little bit thin and watery and it's a lower ABV, so it makes sense. That's kind of what's happening here. The body's like higher side, a light body, a little bit watery, but the mouthfeel is spectacular. Mouthfeel, very minimal carbonation uh, because of the nitro. It, you know, it has a little bit of carbonation, but it has a, kind of a flat feeling, which you, a lot of people get with nitro beers. 
but it's so smooth and creamy from the nitro. It's just, you just want to drink this beer uh, for the body mouthfeel alone. Now, I've said that recently about some other beers, but that's that's the honest to God truth about this one. It's like the mouthfeel is fucking fantastic. The body, not so much. The mouthfeel is just top tier. The taste, the nose carried over. I mean, it has from front to back a lot of mocha vibes. The chocolate and coffee is there. Underlying vanilla uh, hints, a little bit of, uh, again, a darker fruit. A touch of that caramel toffee, butterscotch, almost like, you know, burnt sugar kind of vibe. But for the most part, like front to back, it's just, it's mocha's leading the way. There's a touch of like a, a roasty, toasty malt character that's underneath the palate. On the finish, this finish is bone dry. I shouldn't say bone dry, firmly dry. It's not bone dry, but it's definitely firmly dry. A mild to moderate bitterness. Like it has like, if you ever had like a black coffee, it has a little bit of like a, you know, mild to moderate coffee, um, coffee bitterness. That's what this has. Uh, this isn't too sweet, which is nice. And I would say that this has a pretty good balance as a whole. The most impressive thing about this one outside the mouthfeel is the fact that it's seven months old and it's held up extremely well. This is apparently a year-round offering from them now. Um, we get surly, surly hit, hit or miss here in the uh, Western New York area, more specific, uh, specifically Buffalo, New York. But I see their stuff from time to time, which is why I bought this one. And despite the age on it, let me tell you, it's fucking, it's pretty damn good. Um, you know, it's not amazing or anything, but I think for what this beer is and what they're kind of going for, they did a pretty good job with it. 5.5%, I really can't tell. Nice job by Surly, for sure. And again, most impressive thing, seven months old, coffee's still vibrant. It hasn't turned into green pepper. Uh, it, it just, it's really, it's a really nice beer. So nitro coffee out from Surly. I'm gonna give this a four, four out of five. That's what I'll four out of five for myself personally. If we're talking about a nitro coffee, I'll give this like a four, two, five, four, three. I think they've done a really good job with it. Now I would like to retry this one fresh, like maybe less than two months old, just to see if anything has changed in terms of the coffee intensi uh, intensity, I will say this. For myself personally, if the coffee was more intense and more bold, I might not like this one as much because you have to keep in mind this is 5.5%. It's more like a session kind of nitro beer. I could drink two or three cans of this, maybe even an entire four pack. If the coffee was over the top, I'd be probably one and done. So I think for me personally, I like the coffee kind of like the coffee flavor being more moderate than anything where I think if it's too intense, it might turn me off. But for some of you guys out there who love coffee and maybe drink it, you know, an entire pot a day or whatever, then you probably would enjoy that uh, characteristic. You, you might not love this age like I do, but I don't, I don't love it, but it's really damn good, four out of five. Anyway, they say on the side here, nitro coffee, I'll rich, smooth, nitro. I always love when they, they use that as like, you're saying it's rich and smooth and then nitro. Well, for normal, like, person who's just buying this one and go, oh god nitro coffee oh, is that like nitro or what? what the fuck does that mean i don't know it's, it's just weird i've seen that on other cans before where they like have it as like a tasting note or like a characteristic of the beer rich smooth nitro okay price point availability i paid like four something for that can so i'd imagine four packs are probably depending upon where you live probably in the 14 to 16 dollar realm it's all right for something that's in a nitro can it's always more expensive it's a nice coffee ale. If you could get this for less than four dollars a can i would you know all day every day i paid a little bit more because it is a single I don't, you know, I'm not upset that I did so. And availability with Surly. So if you see Surly stuff, you might see this one. Like I said, I checked their website. This is a year round offering. So, um, you know, if you see like their Furious and like their Bender and things of that nature, you might, you might see this one around. Um, I still think as far as coffee beers go from Surly, their coffee bender is better than this one. But I haven't seen coffee bender in a long time. That was like one of the first two beers I had from Surly. So I would love to revisit that one and uh, review it. So yeah, anyway, that was Nitro Coffee Ale from Surly. I give it a four out of five, 5.5%. You really can't tell. Pretty happy with it, especially with the age. So if you've had this one before, whether it's fresh or age or whatever, um, I would love if someone else out there had this like six or seven months old and, and let me know what you think about it. But if you've had this beer in any capacity, please post in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about it. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.